What is up everyone, Barricade here and I'm bringing you guys a walkthrough of a video game that I loved as a kid known as Unimusha Warlords. A lot of you probably never heard of this video game, but it's a game made by Capcom that is a weird mixture of classic Resident Evil when it comes to tank controls and fixed cameras, but mixed in with demons and samurais. So if you guys like classic Resident Evil, you're in for a treat because this game is a lot like it, has an awesome story. But of course, the game is old. It has aged not too well, to be honest. Um, it comes complete with uh, bad voice acting and terrible limp, lip syncing. Um, but overall, it's an amazing series, and I always wanted to do a walkthrough of this game. And now they actually remastered it for the Xbox One, PS4, Switch, and PC, and it's only $20. So if you want a new game that's cheap but fun as hell, watch this walkthrough. You don't have to watch the whole thing. At least just give this video a chance and see what you guys think so far. I know my video is mostly about Gears of War and I'm going to be doing more Gears of War lores and things like that. Gears of War 5 is coming out soon, uh, later this year. But this is something I've always wanted to make a video about and I'm glad that they finally remastered it for newer consoles so even you guys can try it out. But let's go ahead and get started. So admittedly I did start playing this game for about half an hour. So I'm just going to start a new game though. So we can just start it from the beginning. Uh, general premise really... Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll watch the opening here. You're going to probably be really confused at the beginning, but believe me, it's a really good game. Just give it a shot. <laughs> but yeah, if you like demons and samurais and stuff like that, you know, classic stuff like this, you're in for a treat. This game is awesome. So, there's going to be a lot of stuff in this uh, opening they are going to be really confused on, to be honest. But the general premise is these two clans basically clashed. The leader of one of them, which we'll see in a moment, it, by the name of Nobunaga, eventually turns over to the demon side. And then you play as Samanosuke that, you know, you fight the demons and stuff like that. There's, more, there's a lot more to the story than that, but that's just like the very small early general premise. But let's enjoy. So that's basically, that was Nobunaga, these are the two clans basically going out, going at it. I can't even imagine beating a war like that. Ooh. I would die instantly, I'd be the guy that like runs in and gets stabbed instantly. <laughs> and then that is Samanosuke, the main character. Nobunaga has finally used the enemy. And and there's there's multiple games of the series with different characters, but Samanosuke is actually my favorite. I I love Samanosuke. He's my favorite character in this whole series. He's just so badass. And he's not the main character in every game either. There's other games with different main characters, but out of all the main characters, he's my favorite. Oh god! <laughs> oh no! My lord, we have taken Lord Suruga's head! Perfect! <laughs> and then we see Nobunaga. Just killed by an arrow. So essentially, his army fought the other dude's army. They killed the leader of that army, and then right after he got killed, with an arrow and now we're coming back to Samanosuke here and there's the demons right there Got her. 
I always felt so bad for the moth right there. Like, no, oh, poor little moth. <laughs> Burning to death. Oh, and that's his comrade, Kaede. If I said that right, Ka Kaede. <laughs> I will save Princess Yuki. She's like a ninja, Shino uh, Kanoichi. And that's Nobunaga's army right there after they won their battle. And what's this? Oh, we'll see right now in a second. <laughs> Nobunaga's alive, even though we just saw him get shot in the neck with an arrow. Bum 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 bum. I know that intro is probably like super confusing. You probably have no idea what's going on, but <laughs> long story short, two armies fought, and then I'll tell you right now after this part. Dear Samunosuke. I am writing this letter in the hopes you will read this in time to help. Something is wrong within the Inabayama castle. Some of the maids and servants have gone missing, and I fear that it might be the work of monsters. Monsters. I am so scared, Samonosuke. People tell me that the monsters eat the maids and servants and then take their remains to someplace deep underground. When I told my brother Yoshitatsu about this, he did not seem interested. He is too busy preparing for his upcoming battle with Nobunaga. Samnosuke, although it has been a few years since we were forced to take separate paths due to the battle between my father Dosan and my brother Yoshitatsu, you are still the only one that I can rely upon. I can only hope that you receive this letter and that you will find it in your heart to come and save me before it is too late. Yours faithfully, Yuki. So like, if you guys are still confused on what's going on, essentially, Nobunaga's army fought the other dude's army, they killed the leader, Nobunaga got shot in the neck and died. Her, sh she is the sister of um, this way, sir. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> I keep getting cut if off by the game. At the keep, there are two ways to get there: the western path or the northern passage. Kaede, I'll go north. You follow them through the other way. Understand. Anyway, she's the sister of the pretty much the guy that was in that big war that we just saw, and after Nobunaga was killed, like a few years later. Nomonaka's suddenly back, and then he kidnapped her, and then, like, we'll see more into that in a little bit. It's like, how is he alive if he just got shot in the neck with the arrow, you know? And now he's suddenly in the league with demons. And that's- oh, oh, that's her right there. Princess Yuki! So the, that's the thing with this game, for- it has fixed camera angles, so you simply move inside the fixed angle. The camera never moves at you or behind you. You simply have to move with the area that's with it, pretty much. It's kind of weird for those who never played that, but I've been playing on games like this since I was a kid, so it doesn't really bother me like at all. But for someone like, you know, younger that's probably never played a game with fixed camera angles, it could probably really throw you off at first. It takes a little getting used to, but it's still fun, but somewhat difficult game. It's really you. Oh, I knew that you would come to save me. Ah. I have missed you so much since you left the castle. What? <gasps> <laughs> I've seen this intro so many damn times. I beat this game like so many times. It's not even funny. Bug. 
Bum, 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 bum. Got totally destroyed. <laughs> like it bodied scrub. Oh no, it took her. Seminoski. Wake up, Seminoski. This is where it basically gets good. It's kind of weird at first, but it, it gets good. your current power, you are not capable of destroying the demons. We will give you our powers. We are the clan of ogres that has been subverted by the demons. Semenoske, defeat and seal their souls to your right hand. Essentially what they're doing is they're channeling their power into you. Demons are basically like immortal, they can't really be killed by humans without magical powers. Destroy all the demons. So they give him this gauntlet that gives him the power to kill demons and then suck their souls into him and give him more power. And it's basically like a clan of ogres that hate demons, so they help humans to defeat the demons. And that's who they were. They were like the things like the thirteen ogres so or something like that. Fortune has smiled upon me this day. The power of this gauntlet I will destroy. All of those monsters and save the princess. Oh, I said the gauntlet looked kind of weird, kind of like a bug, like a like a grasshopper or something, like stuck to his arm. And this is just general instructions, basically saying, kill enemies. You use the B button to suck up the souls. Use Y to do a special magical attack, which we'll see more in a little bit. And then when you kill the enemies that steal the souls, you can use them to upgrade your weapons. If you ever play Devil May Cry, it's like the same exact thing, kind of. It's a little different, but it it's essentially the same thing. And um, so I'll go ahead and save real quick. And I already played earlier for like a half an hour, but I decided to start the game over so we can go ahead and do this walkthrough. Um, but I'll probably end up overriding that file because there's really no point to have two files. Oh no! I always like these little guys, the little creepy demon dudes with, yeah, these guys are kind of creepy, man. You got like skull faces and they're just, eesh. The way they sound too. So the combat's a little difficult, can be kind of, oh, I don't know why I did that, that was weird. So essentially X is your main attack or square for on PlayStation. Uh, RB is to like target the enemy or R1. Oh god. And then L1 or LV, depending on what you're playing as, does this block attack. Or not block attack. Just a block, I mean. And then you push B or O if you're, you know, the suck of the souls. And we just kind of basically have to progress through the castle to try to get back to Princess Yugi and save her. Oh no! More enemies! Monsters, close the door now! But someone is there! Forget him! <laughs> Forget him! <laughs> Screw him! He's gonna die! I just like how they just didn't even like bother. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know what button I'm pushing to activate the map, but I did that like three times earlier too. So there's a little more to the combat instead of just mashing X. Um, you can. Oh god. So you essentially. Oh shit. Ah! So you can like target the enemy and push down and X and do kind of do like this little karate kick. All right, if I can get it. Oh god, the angle's throwing me off. There you go. Okay. And then you could. Ah, I didn't get. I didn't get to do it. I was gonna stab him while he's on the ground. <laughs> I totally fucked up. Open the door. I've killed all the monsters. He killed. Huh? What should we do? Uh, let me out. Hello. You. 
bastards. <laughs> I like how you like sorry. basically slapped them. Very sorry. Please forgive us. What happened to you? They came out of nowhere and attacked us. The keep may have also been attacked by them. Oh. The keep is ahead of us that way. Right. The forest road there is a shortcut to the keep. I see. The thing that will really throw it off is when the camera angle changes, it also changes how uh, how you have to move the characters. Like uh, it's kind of hard to explain. So essentially, I'm pulling down right now on the analog stick to go forward, but once the camera angle stays, if I push down again, it reverses me. See what I mean? Instead of just keep going, it can like cause it to kind of throw you off. So when you're in the middle of combat, it is kind of hard to get used to. You essentially have to change your angles and the way you're aiming the analog sticks. Every single time the camera angles changes, so it is kind of weird. Um, but for someone who's been playing these type of games, you get used to it. You know, I got used to it again pretty quick. Oh shit! Damn it! Why do I keep doing that? What button? I need to find out what what's the map button. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Ah, okay. Oh. Okay. What a big hole. Did the monster do this? You can't get around it. Seems you can't come back once you go down this hole. Will you go down? Yes. And then this game game has a lot of puzzles and it makes you think. That's what I like. It's not really like a hack and slash get to the next area type of game. Like you actually have to backtrack and really think. So it, it definitely can make you, you know, have to really think what you about what you need to do next in order to get to the next areas. So I like I miss games having this degree of difficulty. A lot of games nowadays are just kill enemies, get to the next area. It's kind of annoying. That's what was that's how it was with classic Capcom games. Looks like the mummified monk was supposed to guard this temple. This there is a green scroll here. Will you take it? Yes. You got the Sogan's note. Sogan's note. To the brave one who finds and is reading the scroll, cast all thoughts aside and heed my words. There exists an ogre's gauntlet that draws its power from the souls of those who are slain by demons. Master its secrets and great powers will be yours. Remember, without the power of the ogres, you are no match for the demons. So essentially that's what it is. Like, a normal human can't kill demons. They're just way too powerful. So these ogres, magical ogres, they give you these gauntlets and they, let, they give you the strength to kill demons and instill their souls. Kind of hard to. Oh, there's two of them right there. You got a Seiryu. So, what this is really is that it's a puzzle. Later on, you'll find boxes that have puzzles with these markings that you have to choose from to open it. They ask you a question. So you kind of have to like decipher it and open it, but I can't really do that right now. I'm going to have to get more books. I'll find a box that will ask for it, but I won't be able to open it because I don't have all the books I need. Oh yeah, sometimes you can knock their hats off. <laughs> Damn it, what? I'm really curious to what I'm pushing that keeps opening the map. Okay. Is it the Y button? I don't know. I'm just trying to see which button is the one that opens the... Oh, you push the left stick down. I'm pushing the stick too hard. Journal 1. Journal number 1. Master Sogan and I have followed the monster that has been kidnapping people around town. It has led us to this cave. The cave seems to be the nest for demons. Every kind of monster imaginable. Even ones I never would have believed to exist. They call themselves demons. They have they hate sunlight and seem to have lived underground since before human race even existed. My master has already made up his mind to go into the cave. I am confident that he has the power to banish the demons. I have little talent for drawing and I also have faith and courage so I will not be afraid of the monsters. As such, I am going to record everything I see. This is going to be the most bizarre book in history. Sign me up. And then this is one thing you do is uh, you get these orbs, he puts them in the gauntlet and it unlocks a new weapon. So this is essentially a lightning sword. 
and this will have its own special attack that uses magic or mana, whatever the hell you want to call it. And then you, sometimes you find these chests right here, they're puzzle puzzles. Essentially got to get the numbers to match up on each corner. This one was easy, but later on they get really difficult. And I unlock the rope ladder, which I'll need in a moment. Magic tool. So that will replenish my magic energy if I ever need one. If I even need to, I mean. And then right here, this is all I was talking about. You find the books that have these markings. And then you got to use these markings to answer the question. So what clan is subverted by the demons? That was the clan of ogres. But I don't know what signs mean that yet. So I can't really open the box. And then... um. Enhance to let you enhance your weapon, obviously. So we got this right here. Essentially, I just pour the souls into it. Every time I get enough souls to fill up that bar, it increases the strength of my sword. And what these are is a crystal is fitted in the center, and there seems to be lightning inside of it. So essentially, I gotta have the magic weapon, the lightning sword in this case, to open the lock, the orb that is blocking the door. And as the game goes on, you have to increase your sword to be able to open more orbs. Sometimes the orbs will have the doors will have two orbs or even three orbs. So it makes it harder. Okay. And we just Oh god. Aha! Nice try, buddy. Aha! Oh god. Oh, now you don't have to fight! Okay, got the map. And the thing I like about this game too is it'll just throw random enemies out of nowhere that you didn't expect. It like, gives you no warning. Like, for example, this big asshole right here out of nowhere. Boom, and that's a magical attack. Consumes magic energy. And then you just gotta absorb blue souls to get the magic energy back. Let's go to the next area here. No, sir. Oh, God, I think I, like, stabbed him in his crotch. Ow! Stupid jerk. Okay. He gave me an herb, which is basically health. A giant monster took Princess Yuki and went down under the dry molt. So it's locked. So if you like like classic Resident Evil that makes you backtrack, get keys and stuff like that, this game is totally for you. You can see a dry molt. Did the monster come from the bottom of the molt? You need equipment to descend. So that's the one this is one thing I like. In newer games, they would spell it out for you because apparently new games think you're dumb. This game, right here it says, it's dry molt, you need something basically to descend. Well, instead of just telling me to do it, I actually have to push start, go into my items, equip the ladder, and then it and then it works. So that's the thing I like. A lot of newer games, they think you're dumb and they spell it out for you. I think that's actually really cool. That's one thing I liked about older games. I actually had to have common sense to do stuff. Okay, that was one of those other boxes. Oh yeah, see now, now we can see here, oh more medicine, that's good. Medicine's really good. And we see a crystal, but we can see that flames are inside it. So meaning I don't have a flame sword, so I can't open that yet. So we gotta go to the next area here. Huh? Didn't know humans could be such pests? <laughs> Where is the princess? Humans are more tasty than <laughs> angry, and I haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> Gotta love the voice acting. It's so generic, but like, I don't know, I still love it anyways. Bad acting and all. <laughs> it's just funny. Alright, so start off. Bam! Hit him with the magical attack. Bam! On the yellow orbs, yellow souls. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. That ain't good. Oh! Okay. Oh, shit! Oh, crap. Okay. 
Not starting this battle off too good. I did this battle so much better earlier. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an item. We're gonna use. I'll try herb. Okay. Magical attack! So this boss isn't too hard. As long as you know what you're doing, which apparently I don't right now. Let's go. Let me run on this side. Just to give me a better angle on him, on the screen. So I keep forgetting that it's LB that block. LB, 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 LB. Okay. So I, you could block this attack, but you cannot block the ones that, uh, like the big swings. Oh, you can block that one. Not this one though. Yeah, you cannot block that attack. That attack will destroy you every time, even if you're blocking it. So, oh. Damn it! I keep doing that because like I freak out and push the stick down real quick. Oh! Ah! <laughs> so yeah, you gotta just kind of wear him out. Okay, now I got enough for a magical attack because I just absorbed the blue soul. Now he dropped the yellow soul, so that'll give me like a lot of health back. As you can see right there, pretty much my all my health came back. Oh god, dang it! They really should have put the the freaking map button on the freaking clicking the stick down. I'm not really a fan of that. Now he's charging me, but he missed. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Rip. Be quiet, monster. It is time for you to go back to the underworld. <laughs> Easy. Even though I almost died. <laughs> Journal number two. I am a sad, pathetic coward, weak and unworthy of the priesthood. My master was seriously injured during the battle against the demons. I could not do anything. I could not save my master. He asked me to bring his wounded body to the entrance of the cave. Then he began to perform his final ceremonial rites. He had, he has made up his mind to offer his life and die as a human sacrifice. With his remaining power, he is trying to sacrifice himself and place a seal on the entrance of the cave so that the demons cannot get out. My master gave up, gave me a scroll and a jewel, then ordered me to leave the cave. That was the most humiliating moment of my life. I was relieved to hear that I could leave the cave. I was too happy to be leaving to worry about my master. I could think of only of myself. Afterwards, I hid the scroll and the jewel and I came back to the master's place to sacrifice. I will never have the willpower of my master. All I could do is learn as much as I po as possible to create a testament of my finding, Samuel. So if you guys didn't catch that, his master sacrificed some soul and, and turned himself into that mummy that I opened the scroll up earlier. And he left the orb, which is the orb that I put in my gauntlet that gave me the lightning sword. So they were able to retrieve that when they came down here and basically left it for me. So that's the good thing. Definitely gonna help me out in the end. And this is one creepy bastard right here. Sweet, beautiful, lovely, the dripping blood, and mm, what's this? Oh, a liver. <laughs> hmm? What's that smell? Who's there? A human? How disappointing. Face me, demon. <laughs> Who do you think you are talking to? I haven't seen one as foolish as you since that, uh, Nobunaga. Nobunaga? <laughs> I operated on and resurrected that pitiful Nobunaga after he was killed in Okihazuma. He then made a pact with the demons and pledged his eternal loyalty to serve us forever as our slave. No! Oh, yes, it is indeed true. Now, let me show you my most recent creation. <laughs> Go, Renato! Fight the belly of that maggot and feast upon his bloody flesh! <laughs> so, I, I always hated these guys. The Ronaldo. They're... Ugh, you'll see in a moment. They're pretty crazy. So, the thing that's creepy about these guys... 
You cut them in half, and they split up into multiple enemies. I got lucky there, and I was able to kill it before it fully regenerated into a second one. But I got it. Yeah, see what I mean? It's only really ways to... Ah, sometimes you gotta take damage, but it's worth it. Damn it! There you go. You can't regenerate forever, though. You just gotta keep hacking at it until it's dead. Now I got the second orb. Cohen. Co Co Cohen? Co Cohen? I don't know how you say that. Now I have this flame sword. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. So now any door that has the red orb will open for me now. This big stone slab. There appears to be an inscription on it. However, you can't read it. Interesting. So this one works a little different way of the swinging. It's more of a heavier weapon. And it's a uh, magical attack. Is a... Uh... Ah! It's definitely good at, at doing more damage. The only difference is it's slower. And it's fire attack is really good though. It's a magical attack. We'll try it in a little bit here. Let's just try it now. <laughs> you just slam it. Boom. Big old burst of flame. And so these assholes. I hate these guys. Okay, so you need souls, right? So these assholes will come out of nowhere and absorb souls. They take them from you. So the only way you can get the souls back. Oh, and then they'll do that where they lash onto your gauntlet and steal your energy. So that's fun. Oh, god damn it. Get off. Okay. Oh, come on! Are you serious? <laughs> He's draining me, man. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I think I know what what's the problem is. Get off me. Okay. I need to switch to the lightning sword. It's too slow. It's too slow for that guy. There you go. Oh, come on. The good news, though, is they do not... Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. There you go. It's okay to waste magic because... When you kill them, they give you all your stuff back anyways. There you go. Well, that's weird. I'm surprised that one didn't absorb it. There you go. Okay. So now I got all my souls back, so I'm good. Okay. So you do need to switch to the weapon, corresponding weapon, to open the doors. So since it's a red orb, I had to open it that way. Okay, so I think I'm going to end the video here. I'm just going to save, and then we'll continue with part two in the next video. But yes, that is simply Unimusha Warlords. It's simply a samurai demon game uh, with, you know, classic, uh, you know, fixed camera angles and things like that. Um, really good game. Really good game. And we'll continue with the walkthrough after this. But So essentially, this last thing I want to show you real quick. See how I'm pouring my souls into my sword. And now my sword will evolve into a second level and then that's Ryzen if I said that right and now I got Enryu so I'm going to start pouring my souls into Enryu so I can eventually get it to hit level 2 as well there's three levels and each level takes progressively a lot more souls to get to so 2 is going to take a lot longer and 3 is going to take super long but once you get your weapon to the final level it's really good but yeah guys I just really wanted to bring you guys this video and let me get you know let me know what you guys think I like this game a lot. I've always liked this game and I've loved this series so much since I was a kid to the point that I've always wanted to make a walkthrough of this. Um, up to the extent of... Oh god, I'm increasing my save count, aren't I? I just realized that it said a save count right there. <laughs> oh, whatever. And um, so essentially, yeah, that's Unimusha Warlords. I even considered making a walkthrough with my PS2 back in the day because this game was on a PS2 back in 2001. But whatever reason, they decided to remaster it. So now anyone can play it. So that's the awesome part. But yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button and subscribe. I told me what you guys think about it so far. Definitely will continue with part two. Thanks for watching, guys.